Hi, I'm Irish Rally Champion Aaron McHale. Today we are going to show you the features of a rally car, like the one that I drive, and show you the difference between it and a normal road car. Now let's talk to rally drivers Tony Kelly and WRC Academy Champion Craig Breen. So Tony, there's a big difference between this car and an ordinary road car. Yeah, yeah, there'll be a huge difference, Aaron. Um, like, when you even look into the car, you can see that it looks completely different. The most obvious thing is the um, the roll cage itself. Uh, if you have a look around, like, you can see um, that there's just kind of bars jumping out everywhere. And the main point of this is, you know, that if you go off or have an accident or whatever, or if the car rolls, that, you know, you've got protection and the whole thing won't tumbling around as such. The next thing then would probably be the seam welded um, chassis itself. You know, the actual body of the car um, is strengthened as well. Um, and then I suppose the most important thing with uh, from the you know driver and navigator's point of view is the seat belt. There are five points. Um, there's two at the side and two at the front and then the last one here and they all connect into this one. They're all tightened so you can't move, you literally can't budge in your seat and everything's fireproof as well. Um, and then I suppose the one of the main ones as well would be the fire extinguisher that's built into the car. So you press the button if there's a fire and the whole thing, you know, the car literally fills up with foam and puts the fire out. So Craig, tell us how a rally car differs from an ordinary road car. Well, and apart from the obvious safety aspects which we've gone through already, uh, there are many, many uh, performance differences between the two cars. Uh, we don't really need to look too far. Uh, the brakes, the sheer size of the brakes, uh, the stopping distance in, in this car here is probably 80 metres. When, when you're comparing to a road car, uh, you know, it's, it's completely different. But I think, you know, brakes is probably one of the pr primary differences between, uh, between this rally car and an ordinary road car. And suspension-wise, does this differ greatly from a road car? The travel uh, and length of the suspension and damper uh, built to cope with these, these roads here in Ireland is completely different and it really gives you, you know, unbelievable car performance and handling. Uh, you know, you can carry so much corner speed, whereas in a, in a normal road car, if, if you try and, you know, travel around corners at these speeds, the car will just purely fly off the road. It's, it's built for comfort, whereas this is built for performance. Tell us about the engine, gearbox and diffs. How much do they differ from an ordinary road car? Yeah, again, it's just completely other end of the scale. Uh, this car has got semi-automatic gearbox with a paddle change uh, and again, four-wheel drive transmission built to cope with the, the terrain here in, in, in Ireland quite well. And um, This also aids uh, the stop and distance and the, the performance of the car going around bends with, uh, with a, an active centre differential and various other different bits and pieces. And it's, it's all helping towards performance. And finally, Craig, everybody knows the last thing between a car and the road is the tyres. What about the tyres? Yeah, uh, obviously, again, going going to a road car, uh, you know, road noise and, you know, okay, performance is, is in it at some, some aspects, but again, with a rally tyre, it's purely about, about uh, road holding and, you know, how much grip you can get from the compound of the tyre. So, it's, yeah, it's all about keeping the car as glued to the road uh, as, as possible. And then that's, you know, when you try and step back into a road car and do the same thing, it's just not possible. Uh, they're built for a completely different purpose, which is, you know, everyday driving at, at, a, at the legal road speed. Now you've seen the features of a rally car. As you can see, there's a big difference between a rally car and an ordinary road car. That's why you cannot replicate what we do in a rally on the public roads. So always remember to keep the race in its place.